I'm going to talk about the dynamics of efficiency and growth because it's so important for every policymaker to understand this. So in computing, we are now millions of times more efficient at every aspect than we were 30 or 40 years ago. But as a result of that efficiency improvement, the value of computing is higher. And as a result of that, we're doing billions of times more computing. So the energy requirement for our computing is rising, not falling as a result of that efficiency. That also explains why the global economy is using more energy, despite the fact that we're more efficient at almost everything you can think of in the economy than we were hundreds of years ago. So efficiency by default leads to an increase in total inputs into the system rather than a decrease. That's why our carbon emissions are going up, not down, despite becoming more carbon efficient. It's also the reason why renewables on their own won't take us out of the carbon crisis, because the climate doesn't care how many renewables we have, it only cares how little fossil fuel we burn. And the problem with renewables is it's just increasing our energy supply, but it's not succeeding in leaving the fossil fuel in the ground. The only way to leave the fossil fuel in the ground is to have some separate initiatives that make sure that that happens. A carbon price is by far the simplest one of those.